Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today I will be speaking about war pets, more specifically about uh, Snow Peak Rock. Uh, I will be doing series regarding war pets uh, one by one, why they are good, what you are looking for, which kind of skills you are going to use, how you can capture the best quality pet and so on. First of all, we need to understand that quality matters, and it matters a lot. Uh, for example, uh, every, pet, every pet has a base attribute, right? Uh, it depends on your pet's quality, uh, on which kind of uh, attributes will be higher. For example, if your pet is elite, which is blue one, it will be giving your pet 10% stats. If your pet is epic quality, it will give your, you 20% stats. And if you have a legendary pet, it will give you 30% stats. As you can see, I have not gotten a legendary one, but it's, it's not easy. Uh, it depends on the randomness. You need to get lucky. Also, it depends on the level of the pet while you are capturing. The higher, of, higher level of the pet... Uh, on the map, the bigger chance of you getting a better quality uh, of the pet. Today we will be speaking more specifically uh, about Snow Peak Rock because uh, I I tried my best to understand how the Snow Peak Rock works. Uh, the Snow Peak Rock is mainly for the marksman, uh, and if you can, if we want to attach it to the hero, it will be amazing for Nico Kinara. Pair. Why Snow Peak Rock is amazing? Uh, because simple uh, fact, it has a defense break, uh, and it will be giving your uh, army, your legion, uh, the benefits which are amazing for marksmen. Let's start from the basics. What kind of attributes you want to have on your uh, Snow Peak Rock to be uh, the best possible way? Right. In my opinion, strengths. Agility and the luck are the most important attributes for the Snow Peak Rock. Uh, if you don't have the best luck component, then strength and agility is the main stats because the skills for the marksman and for the Snow Peak Rock are determined by the strength and the luck and the agility. Uh, right now, we don't have much agility spells, uh, we have a lot of strength and a lot of luck. Right, so these three attributes are main for uh, Snow Peak Rock to be uh, powerful. So whenever you are trying to catch best possible pet, try to look at the strengths, try to look at the agility, and try to look at the uh, luck. Regarding skills, uh, you have a wide mm, variety of the spells you can choose, but it is really really hard to get this skill you want to have on your pet because whenever you are getting a new skill if you want to learn on your uh, pet it randomly gives you for example let's say we want to get tools of the claw on this slot this is empty slot right let's say we bought this uh, two cent claw and we want to learn it right we bought with this currency 120 uh, currency and i want to learn it it will randomly give me the chance it might uh, replace this skill it might replace uh, the concentration it might replace shield penetration and it might if we get really really lucky it will end up to the empty slot so if you want to learn a new skill you need to have more than one that skill if i will have like couple of tools of claw I will try to learn it many times until it will appear on my empty slot. Regarding slots, it's again random. Whenever you are capturing the pet, you can have like five slots, you can have like four slots, you can have three slots, you can have two or even one. Whenever you like, the better version of the spell is to have a, as much slots as possible because you will be able to get more skills for your pet. In my opinion, <clears throat> for Snow Peak Rock, it is really, really important to have defense break, uh, physical attack, and this concentration, which will give you the your legion the uh, attack determined by luck. So, as you can see, every spell is determined by some kind of stat, right? So, for example, right now we have a 0.3% legion physical attack, but... 
it's determined by strengths, which means right now I have 90 strengths, right? It will be multiplied by 0 0.3, and that will be the strength of uh, the passive skill, Maniac Might. So, which kind of skills will be amazing for your Snow Peak Rock uh, to be successful, right? Uh, in my opinion, Maniac Might, even for a 1 star, even to 2 star or 3 star, which we don't have currently, will be amazing for Snow Peak Rock. Main skill is always concentration, because that's the main skill of the pet, the passive skill. Uh, right now, I don't have uh, the uh, upgraded uh, concentration. I, I will try to get, because the forceful concentration is giving more damage, like plus 2.9% determined by strength is a lot. And I will try my best to learn it, but it costs a lot. And it, as I explained, I will need a couple of forceful concentrations to be able to land it on my empty slot. So, <clears throat> don't uh, rush it. You need to collect as much uh, coins as possible because it's not easy to learn a skill on a, a pet. You need to be lucky. You need to have a lot of uh, coins in order to hit this new skill to the empty slot. So, uh, Maniac Mind is great. Concentration is great, and shield penetration, defense break. Well, for Nico and Kinara, defense penetration is one of the most important aspects of the whole pair, right? And for the marksman, you need to have a defense penetration to be successful in any format of this game. So, one, Maniac Might. Second, Concentration. Third, Shield Penetration. In the future, I will be getting Forceful Concentration. And I, everybody should remember, you can only have three of the same stat skills. Right now, I have one strength, which is Maniac Might. Uh, second is Shield Penetration, which is strength. And I can only have one more strength uh, skill for this single pet. Uh, also, regarding luck, I will be getting the Forceful Concentration to upgrade my main skill. My main skill is Concentration. And regarding agility, I, I was thinking about uh, like Poison Gland, Enemy Legion, uh, HP Bypass plus 0 0.3. It will be good against uh, infantry, and there is a lot of infantry with the uh, mass fights. And uh, like, if you want to continue, like let's say you have a uh, five empty slots or six empty slots, well, a Maniac Might and Shield Penetration is must. And regarding other might uh, skills, everything depends on what kind of playstyle you want to follow, right? Uh, in my opinion, these are the main skills. Well, if you want to have more crit damage, you can have you have a heat weakness. If you have a if you want to deal more counter uh, counter attack damage, which is good for uh, marksmen, you can have swift range. Uh, if you have if you want to have more uh, luck oriented skills. You can choose the variety from like uh, forceful concentration. Uh, there is also a lot of good skills. Like don't pick like HP skills because HP is for tanks. Don't go for intelligence uh, because intelligence is for mages uh, and so on. Like for example, you can have a crit chance. You can have a counter attack chance and so on. This is the skills which are good for a for a snow peak rock uh, like these three are for example for me the main skills uh, and I will be adding forceful concentration and this, this will be like main skills for my snow peak rock which I won't be changing uh, let's say like we got really really lucky and we have a legendary uh, pet legendary pets have mainly all the stats good like as you can see epic one has only two A grade skills but as I know, legendary uh, attributes are every skill will be on an A level, and some of them will be S. S level is amazing. You will get a lot of stats and a lot of uh, strengths on the physical attack uh, percentages or a lux. Well, let's say you don't have enough time to capture because capturing, like you can only capture five pets per day, you are not that lucky. How you will be able to get a legendary pet? So, there is one more way 
which is called regenerate you will need to have a regenerate potions like uh, one potion uh, will give you the chance to upgrade or discrade your pet let's say i have have a one re regenerate right this is my current uh, quality of my pet and this is the quality i regenerated the quality dropped which i won't be saving but uh, remember there is a chance you will get a better quality uh, pet legendary one or better stats with epic one you can regenerate and have more empty slots you can regenerate and have new skills so remember if you like what you get from a regenerate click on save if you don't like what you get from regenerate just click on x button and you will kept with the same pet which you already had currently uh, snow peak rock is mainly for the marksman and mainly for nico and kinara pair because it has a lot of uh, defense breaks it has a lot of uh, physical attacks it has a lot of counter attack damage uh, and remember every pet has stamina stamina is just same as heroes uh, so remember if your pet has a zero stamina it won't be deployed in the battlefield but uh, right now I, I had a war in my server and I, I have not got uh, zero stamina on my pet. Uh, it's like sometimes it will 50%, 20%, but I have not gotten a zero. Regarding skill inheritance, I would suggest to not try this for now because people say it's buggy. I have not tried it because people say they... They lost all their skills. Somebody said they lost the whole pet. So I will try to wait uh, and see what kind of updates and fixes they will provide towards skill inheritance. But for now, we have like skills. We can play around. We can choose which kind of skill is will be good. We can play around with regenerate to get best possible uh, attributes for your pet. We can try to get the legendary pets because like getting the better quality of items or pets or heroes are always fun uh, try to play around with regenerate remember to collect all the dirts around the pet area remember to claim the gifts and from the gifts there is a chance you can get three star skills which is amazing and also remember whenever you are buying a skill for your hero uh, my advice will be to have, like, for example, I have two poison gland, right? I will try to get two more, and after that, I will try to learn it, because the poison gland may attach to my first kill, or second, or third, and I don't want to change these skills. I want a new skill to be attached to the FT slot, but everything is random, and for the free-to-play players, the coins are hard to get, because... There is only two ways to get these coins. Uh, one way is to sell your pets. Uh, and by selling your pets, you are getting their skills. And some of these skills can be sellable for the cheap price, of course. And another way is to uh, pay money. And by paying money, you are get a, getting a lot of coins. So, Snow Peak Rock, here it is. Uh, try to get it if you are a marksman player and try to get the best possible skills. My opinion is Maniac Might, uh, Concentration, Shield Penetration and Level 2 Concentration. Uh, the base attributes, Strength, Agility and Luck. Um, I don't see any uh, ways why Intelligence, Spirit or Endurance will be good on this pet. So this is my view, this is my experience, this is how I'm playing currently uh, with war pets i uh, hope you liked my video i will be trying to get this series i next one will be regarding sapphire drake uh, and as soon as i will have a more knowledge regarding sapphire drake i will upload the new video thanks for watching uh, hope you liked my video please comment uh, share your opinion maybe i'm wrong maybe you are right we can discuss uh, press like if you like my content and see you soon bye bye